Hi guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the mini MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Andrew George, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's practice problem as if you're one of my private tutoring students. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. In order to answer this question, we need to understand the details of what's happening when an action potential reaches the axon terminal. The action potential reaches the axon terminal, causing the charge within the cell to change. This change in charge causes these voltage-gated calcium channels to open, allowing calcium to flow in. When calcium flows in, it goes and it binds to the various membrane-bound vesicles of neurotransmitters inside the neuron, telling them that they should go and bind to the membrane and release their contents via exocytosis. The neurotransmitters can then go and bind to the postsynaptic neuron. With this understanding in mind, let's take a second look at the question stem. Which of the following voltage-gated channel is present at the axon terminal that aids in neurotransmitter release? As we discussed, the calcium 2 plus channel is going to open and it's going to allow the presynaptic neuron to transmit its signal to the postsynaptic neuron. If you liked this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. And for more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. And if you are really looking to maximize your MCAT score, feel free to visit my tutoring profile page and request a free 10-minute phone consultation. I would love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. I look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.